All right, I'm, I'm out here at this uh, little lake that I'm always at. A little bit excited today because uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but I had a PayPal fund thing going to save up money to buy a kayak. And well, finally got enough to buy a kayak. So I'm gonna do the big reveal right now. Well, clearly that's not the type of kayak I, my, I'm targeting. This is really more of a joke than anything else, but uh, I borrowed this from a friend. It's got a, it's an inflatable one. I'm gonna go ahead and air it up and just get out on the water and mess around in it. It's taking a while to air up. We got a air pump on this one. This side's almost done. That side's almost done. We got another air pump over here airing up the seat. Shouldn't take too much longer. And I'll be out on the water. Well, there you go. It's all aired up and inflated, loaded up, ready to go. This is going to be awkward. Never gotten into an inflatable one before. This is extremely awkward. <laughs> putting more air in it i thought i'd aired it up enough but i guess not because when i got into it i was just laying down and i could not move it's not like a regular kayak where you know you can grab onto the side and lift yourself up back into your seat yeah that did not happen here that is not going to happen here All right, let's try this again. I did realize that there will be no reaching behind me in this thing. So everything I had in the back, I'm putting up in the front now. Let's do this again. Oh. 
Sorry, Zach, but your kayak's gonna get all muddy. Ah, oh, that's much better. I can't move. wind is just going to spin me in circles and there's no adjusting yourself in the seat once you're in there's no no sitting up in this thing there's something popping on the water right there oh there's splashing all over around me here I don't think you can see anything, but... Oh, look, right at the edge of the boat. I just got one. A little one. Oh, and he slipped off. But he got right at my feet. <laughs> I need to find a way to adjust myself in the seat so I can sit up. This is more like floating on a tube on the lazy river or something. All covered in mud. I need some something to grab. I'm sure you're just looking up at the sky right now because that's probably all you can see. They are popping just all over the place. I'm sure you can hear that splashing by now. They're getting kind of close to me. Oh, there's one. Not a very big one. Shook off my bait. He's taking me for a ride. He's pulling me around. There we go. Not even two pounds. Probably maybe a pound and a half. There we go. My first uh, kayak fish right here. There you go. And I can't reach my phone, but there's my my first kayak bass. <laughs> it's a little slow getting away. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, this paddle kind of sucks. It fills up with water and then when you go to paddle on the next side, it dumps all the water on you. Before I start casting, let me see if I can straighten myself out a little bit better. I'm just, I'm way down in this thing. It's like sitting on a couch that's way too soft and you just sink down into it and you can't move. Oh man, this seat is worthless. And if I keep doing that, I'm gonna end up filling with water. I don't want to do that. So now my ass is all wet. Oh well, at least it's cool. I don't know what kind of angle you're getting out there. I don't know. Oh, you can't even see anything anyway. F it's all fogged up. Damn, it's fogged up from the inside too. I guess when I rolled out of it earlier, I got the camera wet. Of course, that's what happens, of course. So you didn't even see that first fish. Anyway, I'm out here. 
in the middle of the lake. I'm, I don't know how well you can see it there, but I'm almost laying down and I can't lift myself up because of the way this thing's designed. There's no rigidity to it. When you push down on it, the whole thing just collapses. Like a full, hard, normal kayak, you could pick yourself up if you had to. It's not happening on this one. I can't even move. All I can do is move my arms. All right, I think I straightened myself out a little bit, but now I'm caught in the wind and I can't get away from these reeds. I need to go drop the anchor, but I don't know how deep any sections of it are. The wind is just making me spin around in circles. Couldn't get the, the anchor open. Damn it, this thing's all fogged up again. Wow, it's not even touching the bottom here. But I'm still turning. I've got my anchor out and everything. I'm still turning in different directions. It's actually why I bought the anchor, because I'm sure when I get a real kayak, it'll come with an anchor. But, uh... Two anchors will keep you from spinning in circles like this. Oh, there we go. It's just a little one, but at least it's on camera this time. Whoa. This is a time when bait casters might actually do better than spinners spinning reels oh come on dude he got it loose there we go can't tell if his camera's even picking it up anyway little bitty fish Off he goes. the reason I was saying a bait caster might be better in this situation is because I've got no room to work with here. If I pick a fish up and he's way up in the air, I need to be able to release the the bail, but I can't do that one-handed. So a bait caster might work better in that situation. Cuz you can press that button and release the bail, release the the line, so yeah, there's got a decent one. Looks like about two pounds. He's on a real kayak though, so. They're still hitting the surface all around me, but I can't seem to get them to bite anymore. All right, went and picked up a couple of rooster tails here. I wasn't actually planning on using them. I just picked them up because I ran out. But, uh. You know, then maybe they'll work out here. Maybe I'll get something on them. Oh, there we go. Got one. I don't think it's a very big one. No, it's a little one, but I got him. On the rooster tail, right up under that, whatever that concrete thing is over there. That's something I need to work on. Got him right to the bottom of the lip. Good looking little fish. <clears throat> I guess he got his revenge splashing me like that. I don't know if my camera died or what, but I wasn't even recording that. But oh, did I get another one? Or is this a snag? No, I think this is a snag, but I just had a big fish. It was running hard. Felt like this snag. He was pulling, came up under me, jumped out of the water, spit the hook. There we go. Yep, 
Is this a snag or is this a fish? What is it? Okay, yeah. What did I catch? Yeah, some kind of a electrical cord or something that's been tied into a circle. There we go. Is that? Yep, yeah, there's another fish. They're going after this rooster tail pretty good. This one's nice. Oh, God. That's the second one already, right here. What the hell's going on with this rooster tail? You know what? This isn't actually a rooster tail. This is the Ozark Trail Walmart brand of rooster tail. I have had two solid fish take it. But couldn't land either one of them. Somebody fishing off the bank just caught a four pounder. Four pounds, six ounces. There we go. Little bitty one here, but I got him. weird hook set in the corner of his mouth like that there we go uh. there we go another little bitty one it's all I've been able to land is the little ones I've had some good good ones on them but I haven't been able to land them There we go. Small one again. But, uh, he's fighting hard pulling down. Well. There we go. Doing all right on the dinks. I haven't been able to land one of the bigger ones yet. I like how this thing collapses too, it's fold foldable. This is an awesome anchor. Like it. What's up? I finally got a kayak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. doing great on the dinks. Yeah. Got about off six. Off that levee. Yeah. Well, I caught four yesterday. I was I was throwing my skinny Sanko, but. Couldn't, uh, wasn't really getting any bites. I got two on it. Yeah. And then I put on a rooster tail. <laughs> and like the first cast, it it, it got off. I, like I, I lost two big ones, but yeah. they get right up to the edge and then get off. So. Hell, I threw this, or actually, I threw on a watermelon <laughs> red young thing. Right? Yeah. And first cast, before I ever even get a chance to set something. I'm glad you're here, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, because there's no way I'm going to be able to get out of here on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind uh, grabbing that handle there and dragging me up a little bit? <laughs> I tried to get out earlier and I ended up... <sighs> you know what? I got a better idea. Push me back out? Yeah, I'm going to back in. Yeah, no, I had something good to pick it up. Spit it out. I heard you catch a four-pounder or something there. Yeah, I caught one of them.